Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the graduation commencement for the class of 2022. At this time, we'd ask that you stand or please remain standing for our national anthem. Hello everyone, I'm Jason McVoy, principal of Oak Ridge High School and Middle School. And on behalf of the entire staff, I would like to thank you for being here this evening. And what a great evening it is. In observance of today's ceremony, the senior class has requested that we start our program with a prayer. Delaney Rule will lead us in prayer. Delaney. Please bow your heads and join me in prayer. If you do not wish to participate, please sit quietly and be respectful for those that do. First of all, we'd like to thank you for allowing us to gather here today. We'd like to give you thanks for the opportunities you've given us to gain an education in this community. We thank you for the strength you've provided us with to get through these years. We thank you for surrounding us with people who have encouraged and supported us. We thank you for loving us through each and every moment. I pray for each of these graduates as they go on their own paths, whatever they may be. Continue to give us the courage to persevere and build our own lives. I pray that everyone sitting in front of me today will go on to become success successful and amazing people that will have a positive impact on the world. Finally, I pray that we as graduates take with us the lessons we've learned through the years that every person can find it in their hearts to be kind and respectful towards everyone that they encounter. Give us the strength to move on into our future endeavors. Most importantly, guide these graduates to be loving and thoughtful and to overall be good people that are worthy of your love. Amen. And at this time, it's my honor, I'd like to introduce the individuals seated behind me at behind the podium. Please stand as you're introduced and remain standing. First, our board members, President Craig Scott, Vice President Jeff Cardis, Secretary George Tendall, Treasurer Jeff Lohman, Trustee Cheryl Harvey, Trustee Douglas DeWitt, Trustee Tammy Stolberg, and our Superintendent, Tom Livesey, and Today's guest speaker, Amber Gibson. Let's give them all a big round of applause. You can be seated, thank you. And also a big thank you to the Oak Ridge staff who took the time out this evening to be here to help celebrate our seniors. You've all been a huge part of molding these students into the credible individuals they are today. 
Thank you. And I'd also like to thank the top 10 students from our junior class who are seated in the back today. They're serving as our honor guard for assisting with today's ceremony. Let's give this fine group a huge round of applause. Also, we'd like to mention that Geskis Photography will be here today taking a five by seven photograph of each graduate at courtesy of the Oak Ridge School Board. It will be mailed to your home as soon as it is ready. And for picture taking for families, we ask that you stay where you're seated during this ceremony and parents, guests, and friends are invited to meet your graduate in the parking lot following the ceremony tonight. Threadgill Productions is also here to record the ceremony for those that could not be present and this will be posted to the district's Facebook page. So with that, this year's salutatorian, Gavin Anderson, will now give his salutatory speech. Gavin? <laughs> to friends, family, classmates, teachers, school cooks, bus drivers, support staff, and administration, I'd like to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. I'd like to walk, I would also like to welcome this year's commencement speaker, Amber Gibson, and thank her for taking the time to be with us today. It is an honor to be standing here before you all giving this speech. It has taken a lot of hard work and determination, and I would like to give a nod to everyone who has made that possible. To our families, I'd like to say that your love and support has made all the difference. All of your encouraging words and contributions to our education have not gone unnoticed, especially in trying to figure out how to help us with our math homework. Personally, I'd like to thank my family for their continued support and seeing both my brother and I succeed. We wouldn't be here without you. To the Oak Ridge facu faculty, staff, and administration, we owe you an overwhelming amount of gratitude. Even though the going was very rough at times, and we could be all very stubborn, you never gave up on us, and you motivated us to clear the many hurdles in our paths. For that, I am thankful beyond words. And to my friends, the Oak Ridge High School Class of 2022, we've stuck together through it all. From our rowdy years as underclassmen, the unpredictability that was COVID, to sitting here a little less rowdy, celebrating our success together. Unity is what makes us strong, but the bonds we've created carry us through life's many challenges. I look forward to what the future holds for all of us. Here's to the class of 2022. Round of applause, please. All right, and now it's my pleasure to welcome our guest speaker, Amber Wilson Gibson, who is a logistics specialist, senior chief, and is also a native of Muskegon, Michigan. She graduated from Oak Ridge High School in June of 2006, and boy, has she done a lot since then. Immediately after graduation, Amber enlisted in the U.S. Navy. Her assignments have included the USS Lassen DDG-82 and Yokosura, Japan. She was logistics support unit one in Coronado, California, where she deployed to Iraq for nine months with SEAL Team 7, NAFSUP Fleet Logistics Center, Naples, Italy, as well as Recruit Training Command in the Great Lakes, Illinois Station as a Navy boot camp instructor where she was selected as the Shore Duty Sailor of the Year and meritoriously promoted to Chief Petty Officer. Her follow-up assignment was on MCM-11 USS Gladiator in Manama, Bahrain, in which she was an influential piece in integrating the first females on board the minesweeper ships. She is currently serving with the US Navy Blue Angels in Pensacola, Florida, which, where she flew all the way up here for tonight. Amber holds a Bachelor's of Science in Accounting and graduated magnum cum laude from National University. She is currently pursuing her master's degree in organizational leadership from National University, and she's married to Chris Gibson and lives in Pensacola with their two cats. Amber? Good evening. I'd like to start off by saying thank you for having me here tonight. 
I'm humbled, honored, and grateful to have this opportunity. Um, I'd like to start off by putting a few things into perspective because I want you to understand that success and reaching your goals does not happen overnight. When I graduated in 2006, Mr. Parker was 34 years old. Uh, in November of last year, he just turned 50. And I'm now 34 years old. And I remember thinking how old 34 years old was. But here we are. And lastly, you guys were only about three years old when I graduated high school. So you've all come a long way, too. Um, don't worry. You're going to be this old someday, too, coming back, giving this speech in front of all these people that you know but haven't seen in years. It's not nerve-wracking at all. So I'm going to start out by asking you guys a quick question. I want you to think, how do you measure success? Or what is your definition of success? For the sake of time, I'm going to answer that for you. According, uh, excuse me, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, that's not Google, the definition of success is a favorable or desired outcome. When I asked the initial question, some of you may have thought success meant becoming a doctor a lawyer, a school teacher, a car mechanic, or a professional athlete. The truth is, all of those are definitions of success. I'm a strong believer that everyone has their own definition of success and their own viewpoint of what success looks like. I also believe that through resilience, adversity, challenge, and difficulties, you create success. The key to success is hard work, patience, and never giving up. You must put in the hard work when you don't feel like it, when you feel like giving up, when you are under the weather, and when it's hard, and you find yourself under pressure. When your talent is having an off day, your ability to work hard is going to get you through that task at hand. Some of you may be going off to college, attending a trade school, or jumping right in into the workforce. All of those routes have opportunity for you to succeed. You just need to take the opportunities when they have them. If something gets in the way, you work around those obstacles to get to the next one. You don't stop just because you're frustrated or stressed. You use it as a learning opportunity. Excuse me. And then lastly, challenge creates resilience. Another aspect of life many people don't talk or think about is failure. Nobody gets up in the morning wanting to fail. Failure creates stress challenge and frustration. However, it also op opens new doors of opportunity. Failure is nothing but a lesson. The only way you can call it as failure is if you quit. Learn the lesson, apply the lesson, and keep going. One of my favorite quotes that I like to live by is, do the things you need to do when you need to do them so you can do the things when you, that you want to do when you want to do them. I have used this as motivation ever since I heard it, and it's been wonderful for me. If you work hard when you need to, you can relax when you want to. Do not take this period in your life for granted. Use it to learn who you are and who you want to become. Do not let social media rule your world. The reality is so much better in person. And get out there and experience new things. Mistakes will happen, failure will happen, but do not let the negative outweigh the positive. 
because not all mistakes and failures lead to something bad. You are in control of how you handle mistakes, failures, and successes. I'll leave you with this advice. Be true to yourself, travel the world, please, please try new foods, and experience other cultures, and most of all, have fun. Do not take life too seriously. Enjoy the small things, and remember to never give up on yourself and your goals. Thank you, and good luck to all the graduates and their families. Thank you, Amber. And she is cer certainly grasping all the experiences. I understand Amber is heading back to Pensacola, Florida tomorrow and will be preparing for next duty station in Naples, Italy for the next few years very shortly. So let's give Amber another huge round of applause for coming out tonight. And at this time, the Oak Ridge Choir, under the direction of Mr. David Abdicator, will now sing River in Judea by Linda Marcus, Jack Feldman, and John Levitt. Mr. Abdicator?
Thank you, choir. Thank you, Mr. Abnicator. Great job. At this time, I'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate all of you who are graduating today. You can be very proud of your accomplishment. I'd also like to recognize the parents and families of today's graduates, which I'm sure without your guidance and support, they would not be able to have reached this today. The class of 2022 is special in many ways. The class has had exceptional successes in the classroom and enjoyed many victories on the field of play. The outstanding projects of our student council, the arts, honor society, and many athletic team successes are but a few examples of the exemplary work of this class. What will stand out and probably most, most remembered is what this class has had to go through the past two years. This class has risen to the occasion and dealt with all the adversity that has come out of these events in stride. And what I've most been impressed with is the maturity and grace that you have demonstrated in getting through these challenging times and making it where you are sitting today. At this time, I'm pleased to acknowledge our salutatorian and valedictorian and to present them with their honor cords. Representing the class of 2022 with a grade point average of 4.138 and 94.32 class rank points is our salutatorian, Gavin Anderson. Gavin? <laughs> Gavin is the son of Roy and Melissa Anderson, and Gavin has participated in varsity soccer, track and field, national ski patrol, tutoring, and is the National Honor Society president. He has received Scholar Athlete Awards, Academic All-Conference, Academic All-State, and the Scholar Scholastics Regional Gold Key for his photography class. He was selected as Student of the Month in all four grades, and Gavin plans to attend Muskegon Community College for two years with Muskegon Promise, then plans to transfer to a four-year university to complete a degree in anthropology and archaeology. His scholarships awarded have included the Michigan Competitive Scholarship, Muskegon Promise, Lieutenant Colonel Tom Glockens Salutatorian Scholarship, and the George M. Wickstrom Scholarship. Congratulations, Gavin. And next, our valedictorian, with a GPA of 4.186 and class ranking points of 94.790 is Spencer Anderson. And yes, there is a connection with the last name. This might be the first time in history that we've got not only siblings, but twins who are the valedictorian and salutatorian. Spencer is also the son of Roy and Melissa Anderson. He's participated in varsity soccer, track, and football. He's a secretary for the National Honor Society. Spencer has been awarded academic all-state in soccer and football, academic all-conference in soccer, track and football, and honorable mention all-state in soccer. He's also been named as first team all-conference district regional in soccer. He was selected as student of the month in all four grades, and Spencer also received the regional scholastic silver key for his photography class. Spencer plans to attend a four-year university, possibly making use of the Muskegon Promise and seeking a degree in archaeology, exercise science, or athletic training. He also plans to enroll in the ROTC program and join the Air Force upon graduation. His scholarships awarded include the Michigan Competitive Scholarship, the Muskegon Promise, Lieutenant Colonel Tom Glockin Valedictorian Scholarship, the Ruth Skorik Scholarship, the LSU Academic Scholarship, and the University of Michigan Grant. Let's give him a huge round of applause. And there are many other students who have qualified for awards this year, far too numerous to list here. However, they have been acknowledged at our Decision Day Assembly and our Senior Awards Assembly last week. The top 10 will again be acknowledged during the presentation of diplomas. The confirmed future plans of this year's senior class are very impressive. We have 16 entering a two-year college, 23 entering a two-year college with plans to transfer a university to complete their bachelor degree, 15 attending a four-year college or university, 11 entering the world of work, one is entering the military, U.S. Navy, five are entering a technical or trade school, seven are entering an apprenticeship program, and six are exchange students 
returning to their home country. I would like to, at this time, ask Christopher Swartz to stand to be recognized. Chris has made a commitment to join the U.S. Navy after graduation. Let's give Chris a huge round of applause for his service to our country. And now at this time, I'm honored to present the Oak Ridge Band under the direction of Mrs. Eldred, who will play Acclamations by Ed Huckabee.
Thank you, Mrs. Aldred and the band. Great job. At this time, our valedictorian, Spencer Anderson, will address us. Spencer? Hello. Um, I've never really understood how imagining the audience naked was supposed to help you. Um, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, but good evening, guests, honored guests, and faculty. Thank you for all being here tonight to celebrate the Oak Ridge High School graduating class of 2022. I would also like to thank my parents, Roy and Melissa Anderson, who have raised me and shaped me into the person I am today. I wouldn't be who I am without them. I also want to thank my brother, Gavin, who most of you classmates have seen me argue with a lot. Um, I would like to thank my friends and my grandparents, both living and passed on, for our, their life lessons and unconditional support in all that I do. We as the class of 2022 would also like to thank the teachers um, for their invaluable education and the senior parents for everything they have done to assure we are successful. Um, I would also like to thank the bus drivers for getting us to school and sporting events and everyone else that's here tonight um, who in one form or another has impacted our lives. Well, uh, I want to congratulate every one of my classmates for being here today. These past few years have been difficult to say the least. Um, the switch from in-person learning to remote learning to hybrid, back to in-person, back to hybrid, and then back to in-person was only part of the struggle. However, despite all these odds, we still managed to graduate, so let's give a big round of applause. Four years ago, we entered the halls of Oak Ridge High School. We became lost in the halls that seemed so big, the lockers so tall, and the classrooms too far away when trying to go from algebra with Miss Carter to Spanish. We tried new things, played Fortnite all night long, survived fight week, and moved on to sophomore year. Though nervous as sophomores, we started getting the hang of things. And once we turned to school junior year, we felt a little more confident in ourselves. The halls that once were so big weren't so big anymore. And the lockers, not as tall, but the walk from algebra to Spanish, still way too long. <laughs> and now, here we are, done with high school, and done with the stressful days of AP and SAT testing. Our success may have been aided by SparkNotes, PhotoMath, and Quizlet, but I'd like to say it was our extreme intelligence that brought us here. Now, at the end of our career as students, we are faced with something new, something daunting and horrific, the real world. It's scary to think about, a world where we must care for ourselves, make our own food, work, pay our own bills, and do our own laundry. A world where we will face our greatest challenges. Yet it's also a world where we will find our greatest joys. These joys can be found just about everywhere. They can be in landing a job you always dreamed of, buying your first house, starting a family, or finding out your new Spider-Man costume arrived at your house. The world is your oyster, and the shiny pearl within is there. You just have to be willing to find it. Even if you end up living in a van by the river, reach for that pearl. Reach for it in every aspect of your lives. In your career, your passions, and most importantly, your relationships. Life is far too short to live with regret. We are only given one chance. Make the most of it. And with that, the class of 2022, it's been a fantastic four years with you. And from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the very best. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Spencer. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Tom Livesey, our superintendent of schools, who will certify the graduates of 2022. Mr. Livesey. 
Thank you, Mr. McVoy. Uh, today is always my proudest day. Spencer and Gavin, nice job tonight. Um, I, I share the same nerves that you do, believe it or not. So, uh, um, but uh, I just have so much to be thankful for uh, tonight. The uh, community coming out, the graduates before us, the leaders that we have amongst our students. Um, just so many people working together to be here tonight. Uh, but today is always the best day of the school year, rain or shine. Um, as I was preparing my speech I was, and putting fine tunes on it uh, this afternoon, I thought, man, how cool would it be if I could use a metaphor of the clouds being uh, uh, representing the challenges that you've went through over the last few years, and then during the middle of the ceremony, the sun would just come out. And it actually did a few minutes ago. If I would have been a few uh, people before on the agenda, I probably would have had just that perfect moment. Um, but so it goes. I thought that would be cool, but uh, it, uh, we'll keep going with that. But graduates, I'm so proud of you for your resilience. Uh, even though that metaphor didn't work out perfectly, needed, needed to the last 13 years for you. But even through those challenges, you work through every bit of it with resilience and determination to reach this major milestone. I also have to take a brief moment to share how incredibly I'm thankful for all of those that are sitting in the bleachers tonight. There's so many school districts across America experiencing great division and unrest in recent years. But at Roke Ridge, we've pulled together with grace and understanding and flexibility I, uh, as our valedictorian shared, there was on again, off again, on again, off again. And I know how difficult that was. I tell you, leading in that times was uh, pretty difficult because there was not a course I took in my degree on how to lead through a pandemic. So we got through it, we did it together. And I'm thankful, like our graduates, we united and prevailed through adversity and we as a community also have a great future ahead. So in conclusion, I want to thank those that are sitting, uh, I guess that's on the sideline, like we'll call it. <laughs> Definitely uh, not on the sideline. They are uh, the front and center of all of our children's attention. I just want to thank them so much, uh, as, lo as, long as, uh, as well as our support staff and administrators. Um, uh, just the other day, my daughter graduated from elementary school, and I came home around 7 or 8 o'clock, which is about typical when I get home at night, and uh, she was sitting at the counter, uh, at the kitchen counter, just, and she's not a crier. She just had deep red eyes and red cheeks, and uh, she was crying uh, with my wife sitting next to her, and I said, what's wrong? And she said in her quivering voice, it's like, I'm going to miss my teachers. And I know that's what that feeling is, even though she's coming out of sixth grade, and I know how appreciative our kids are of our, our staff and everyone that works together. Uh, they put all this work in for the last 13 or more years uh, to fill the seats before us tonight. And I know this is a proud moment for all of us. So with that said, it's my job to certify the diplomas and officially add 86 more alumni to our pool of graduates. So Mr. Board President and members of the Board of Education, I do hereby affirm and attest that the students seated before you this evening have officially met the requirements as set forth by the Board of Education and the state of Michigan. Having met those requirements, they are now entitled to receive their Oak Ridge Public School High School diplomas. Let's congratulate the class of 2022. All right, thank you, Mr. Livesey, and now the time you have all been waiting for. At this time, the class of 2022 will receive their diplomas. With our Oak Ridge board members making the presentations, if you could please hold your applause until each name has been completely called. First, Spencer Hoyt Anderson, valedictorian. 
Summa cum laude, Lieutenant Colonel Glockson Valedictorian Scholarship, Ruth Squirk Scholarship, Muskegon Promise, and the Michigan Competitive Scholarship. Gavin Boyd Anderson, Salutatorian, Summa cum laude, Lieutenant Colonel Glockson Scholarship, George M. Wickstrom Scholarship, Muskegon Promise, and the Michigan Competitive Scholarship. Delaney Ray Rule, summa cum laude, National Honor Society, Wolf Lake Community Improvement Scholarship, Freudenthal Scholarship, Maroon and Gold Merit Scholarship, and the Leadership Advancement Scholarship. Ethan Michael Josa, summa cum laude, National Honor Society, Hillsdale Merit Scholarship, and the Hillsdale Athletic Scholarship. Garrett Robert Weaver, summa cum laude, National Honor Society, and the Muskegon Promise. Julius Robert Ross, summa cum laude, CTC Honor Student, and the Muskegon Promise. Michael Jean Lynn, magna cum laude, C CTC Honor Student, Muskegon Promise, and the four-year tuition at Univ University of Dearborn. Aiden Jeffrey Pearson, summa cum laude, National Honor Society, Wolf Lake Community Improvement Scholarship, and the Rich McCarthy Scholarship. Justin Joe Smith, magnum cum laude, Muskegon Promise, and the Michigan Competitive Scholarship. Corey Robert Vanderput, summa cum laude, and National Honor Society. Uda Amunspas, exchange student. Connor Douglas Anderson. Kylie Ann Barnes. Sydney Marie Benedict. Brianna Marie Benson. Naomi Nicole Berry. Gavin Arthur Bignall. Emily Victoria Bitson. Josephine Bona, exchange student. Nicholas Daniel Brantana. Autumn Ray Bush. Michael Anthony Cardinal. Austin Brian Carpenter. Victor Manuel Contreras. Kaylee Dita Coppage. Hunter Matthew Delora. Naya M. Demond. Deegan Michael Dodge. Derek James Driscoll. Alexandria Renee Enan. Hayden Christopher Samuel Evans. Riley Lynn Felker. Bryson Mays Foster. Logan Todd Fowler.
Brooklyn Lay Gadeen. Galdine. I'm sorry. Hayden C. Gillette. Chaley Nicole Green. Laney McKay Star Hampton. Kimball Morgan Hanks. Daylin Christopher Ray Hansen. Emily Lynn Hansen. Bryce Foster Harris. Aiden James Hasher. Phoenix Ellen Hawkins. Andrew Eugene Jacobs. Ludamilla Galena Kaminsky. Carter Brian Land here. Summer Ann Lane. Yeah. Teresa Ann Leak. Yeah. Finn Lauders, an exchange student from the Netherlands. Helene Mervang, an exchange student from Norway. Benjamin Lee McCauley. Allie Jade Michael. Kaya Sue Minor. Alyssa Jolene Wynn. Eric Ortiz Gonzalez. Isabella Jean Owens Glassford. Brady Dayton Parker. Jasmine June Pastor. Mateo Louis Javier Perez. Kyler Richard Peterson. Aubrey Lee Proctor. Jarapa J. Pungrosam, exchange student from Thailand. <laughs> Sadie Jacqueline Rapp. Brendan Michael Raymond. Maxwell Paul Remendino. Shantiara Monet Reynolds. Brayden Michael Rayner. Alonzo Rodriguez Lopez. Jesse James Russell. Julianne Joy Scales. 
James Ludrow Schroeder. Eisten Logan Shappy. Ashlyn Diane Smith. Angelina Lynn Stewart. Christopher Paul Swartz. Seth Charles Twining. Sophie Vera Parrot, exchange student from Paraguay. Kaylin Ann Wamba. Madeline Grace Wilcox. Madison, oh, <laughs> yes. Madison Elizabeth Woodring. And lastly, Morgan Jean Yonkers. Oh. And Aiden Simwa. Second. All right, and now I'd like to ask Delaney Rule to come forward. Delaney will now lead the class of 2022 in the traditional changing of the tassel. Delaney? Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2022, our newest alumni. Seniors, please don't forget to go to the cafeteria to collect your diplomas. You can meet your families for photos once that is complete. Thank you all for being here and have a wonderful night.